Hello and welcome everyone to this SQL Server tutorial and in the tutorial you will learn about left function in SQL Server. So left function extract a character from the left side of the string or the given value or expression based on the specified number of character that you want to extract from that string. So the syntax is very simple. You need to type a command or the function like this left and then within a function within parentheses you need to provide first value first value is the string value or the column value which you need to extract and in this case here you will type a string value or it can be your column value any values which you need or whose value whose character you want and uh, second is the length here length specifies the number of character that you want to extract from that string so here remember a string value can be any string value whose character you want to extract from the left side and remember you can provide a any kind of a string data type but you can't provide a text or untext data type so if you provide any untext or a text data type of value then it's not going to apply a left function on that and it will reason here so for example let's say that uh, you have a string like a, I live in USA so right here query select and now you want to extract a four character from the string I live in USA. So right here, left function and within left function, first you need to provide the string value from which you need to extract the character. So in this case, the string value is I live in USA. And in this case, we want to extract a four character. So right here, four character. So when you execute this query, it's going to extract a four character from the left side of this string I live in USA so select this query execute it now as you can see in the output it shows two word I and Lee so here it also counted the space so if you count here like a, this is the I this is the first character then the space is the second character and then again the letter L and then again letter I and this is the four letter four characters that you have just extracted using the left function now you understand how the left function works now let's take a one more example select left now provide the sting and the sting is a united state and now I want to extract a six characters so it specifies six characters so this means when you execute this left function it's going to extract six characters from the from this string and this is this sixth leftmost character so here count this is the first character and this one the second and the third fourth fifth so select this query execute it now as you can see in the output the whole string is united states but left function extracted only the leftmost characters which is the united in this case in the result set you can see here this is how you can use the left function to extract the number of character from the given string from the left side of that string and you can also extract the number of uh, characters from a integer so for example type a select left and then provide the integer value like a 3 4 9 8 6 9 8 6 and then specify the number of character that you want but remember we have passed the integer value so here we want first two characters or first two digit of this string now select this query execute it as you can see it extracted exactly two digit from the left side of the given digit you can see here and the that first two digit or the character is three four so when you pass the integer value to left function it convert that integer value into a string or character or where kind data of type implicitly then it applies the left function so remember whenever you provide any kind of data type to extract the digit or characters the left function converts that value into a where car and where car or a string and then apply a left function but you can't provide a data type of a value like and text or the text so it is not acceptable by this left function instead of this data type you can provide any data type to this left function and this left function will convert that data type 
into a string or n very car or the very car data type and then applies the left function to extract the left side of the character from the given string or the value now let's apply this left function on a table and for this we have a table staff in our database so first view the table and type a query select asterisk from staff now execute this query and as you can see in the output this table contain a two column staff id and full employee name now you want to extract the employee's first name so in this case you can apply or use the left function so for that type here select and now i want to print the full name of employee so type here full and then employee name and after that i want to extract the first seven characters from each employee name so in this case use the left function and within left function I want to extract the column values here. here the column is a full employee name so type here the column name so column name is a full employee name and I want to extract a six character so type here six and after that specify from a staff table and now select this query execute it now as you can see in the output it uh, contains a two column first is the full employee name and the second is the first name so as you can see the left function extracted the left six character from each employee name that you can see in this column like Elias Johnson it extracted the character Elias and for Bob Smith it extracted the six character Bob SM and for Charlie Brown, it extracted the six character that is Charlie only. And the same for the all the employees name. So this is how you can use the lib function on the tables column. And uh, it depends upon what do you want to do. And you can do a different thing uh, with the lib function in SQL Server. So it is very helpful in data cleaning, data extraction performance optimization and concatenation in many more ways. So I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial on how to use the left function in SQL Server. So at last I want to say don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you.